Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I'm Death from Above. Today, we're going to be talking about the Arms Day weapons. The last Foundry orders to be purchased before Rise of Iron. Uh, they're the ones you got right now. So we're going to talk about each gun individually. I'll show you how it performs, and then I'll tell you which ones you should buy, which ones you should pass on. Really, you should buy them all if you can. But uh, if you can only get one or two of them, I'll tell you which ones I think are the best. So right now, we are using the Haka Garrus D hand cannon. It's an unleveled version of the Garrus D hand cannon, but it's a really cool hand cannon. Good rate of fire, good impact. Pretty fun gun. Um, it's it's deceptively quick, and it's got good recoil to control. So if you want to find a gun that no one uses that's probably pretty good, Garrus D is pretty good, pretty decent. i uh, got to say, we, we're doing the daily mission. I just pulled it out. I have never really used this gun. Got a pretty decent roll on this one. I've just never used it. I mean, it's a gun that's set in my inventory forever. I'll pull it out on Arms Day when he's selling it. We'll talk about it. But it's a gun that doesn't get used too much. So let's take a look at it, and we'll talk about the towns. Now, I am going to feature one gun. Uh, let's look at all five of the guns. Right now, we've got the Garrus D up for sale, the Kuma Ketog HC4. We've got the Uzum RR4 Amalan Sniper. We've got and the two Haka Snipers, the Tamar D and the Aoife Rua D. I'm going to get that name right. So today we're going to feature the Aoife Rua D. We're going to look at this one at the end in more depth. Uh, right now we're talking about the Garrus D. So mid-impact, mid-rate of fire, kind of higher impact. If you get the right talents on this, it can be a really good gun. Mine does have reinforced barrel, so I can get that range out of it. Really thinking about leveling this up and doing a little bit more of an in-depth on this. But we'll wait till next week, see what comes of the package. Maybe there will be a better version. Uh, maybe it'll have special superpowers. You never know. Maybe new talents. Uh, but the Garrus D hand cannon, really cool hand cannon. So let's take a look at the other hand cannon, the Amalan Kumaketag HC4. So the HC4 is a uh, high rate of fire, low impact hand cannon that's a lot of fun. I've got one with uh, rifled barrel luck in the chamber. I don't remember what the third talent is because really, once you got... Oh, it's outlaw. <laughs> there you go. Once you've got those talents, you're good to go. So great roll on this gun. This gun's roll comes uh, comes around quite often with the rifled barrel and the luck in the chamber. I've seen that a few times. I didn't mean to keep fighting these guys, but I did. So uh, you can pick this gun up. Uh, it's probably my number one recommendation for the week. If you're going to buy one, buy the Kuma Ketok. Great gun. like using it. It's good for PvE and PvP. You can see I'm getting some headshots like crazy. Just running through some people. Having fun. Uh, really, really good hand cannon. I like it. So let's get into the snipers. First, let's look at that fun gun down there. The Uzum RR4. Now this is a high rate of fire low impact sniper rifles pretty much a high it's somebody called them heavy scout rifles and i really really agree with that uh this one's unleveled but you might want to look for something like this performance bonus quick draw and unflinching unflinching on sniper rifles is really going to be useful nowadays because pvp sniper rifles flinch a lot now this gun will headshot kill anybody a sniper rifle will always get a headshot kill but it will not take anybody out of super it will not kill a res uh, but if you pop a res in the head right when he pops up and then switch to something like the uh, the last word or the... Uh, ooh, I'm running and gunning with this sniper rifle. Uh, use the last word or the mita. You can definitely uh, take them out pretty quick if you uh, two-shot them. So that might be the way to go. Now, this gun is pretty run-and-gun friendly. You notice I'm fighting in pretty close quarters and still taking these guys out without much trouble. So it's definitely a gun you can run and gun with. I like it. It's a fun gun. I always call it a fun gun if it's something that you can just kind of go into a game and screw around with. So that's the Amalan Uzum RR4 sniper rifle. Now let's look at the one of the Haka sniper rifles, the Tamar D. Now the Tamar D and the Ife Rua D, or the Ife Rua D, really are close in stat. Uh, the Ife, that's a that's a true comparison right now. That there, the Ife has a little bit less stability, a little bit more range. Uh, not much difference unless something's hidden and you can't see it. Quicker reload on the Aoife. But other than that, they're very similar, which begs the question, what are, why? Um, so if you get one, you can have the other. Maybe one has some different talents on it that you can't get on the other. But uh, we're going to pop a synth. Talk about these last two sniper rifles kind of kind of together because they are so similar. But the Tamardi is a mid-impact, mid-rate of fire sniper from Haka. Really uh, an interesting gun here because... The scopes aren't the best. It doesn't have a lot. Of, it has decent aim assist. It has more than you think it does. I think it's just that the scopes, like, look at that flinch, man. That's some ridiculous flinch. I can't hit anything right now. I'm gonna die because I can't hit anything with the, this flinch. All right, we're gonna we're gonna clear the room and get some room to work. So this is not only an Arms Day preview web, preview video. This is an example of uh, 
The complaint that has been lodged against the flinch on sniper rifles in PvE, you almost can't shoot anything. I mean, you got to be playing it like an actual sniper rifle. There's no running and gunning on this stuff. So let's shoot the Kells guard in the head. See that the stability is not too great, but uh, you can two shot a pretty high level enemy with this one because it is a mid impact, mid rate of fire sniper from Haka. Um, this one, I don't know, unflinching and performance bonus or brace, I don't know, brace frame. I could be tempted to have some brace frame and uh, enjoy that. So that might be something that's cool on these guns. I definitely want to try these more out in PvP. See how they do, see if they're useful. But man, that flinch right now. Let's check it out. Ooh. Ooh, that flinch. Ooh, baby, that flinch. That's a lot of flinch. So let's reload it and switch over to the Ifa Rua D sniper. Uh, it's basically going to feel about the same. There's not going to be a whole lot of difference to it. Uh, let's see if we can get rid of that guy. The scopes are different. Different scope. But we need to get some ammo. I'm out of ammo. So cool guns. Uh, I like them. I wish they were a little bit, I don't know, maybe with the right talent setup and the right uh, abilities, perks, whatever you want to call them. You can take those guns to task, get them out in PvP, surprise some people, have some fun. Uh, I really want to. Uh, time is the issue for me. So if you're going to pick up one of these guns, I recommend the Kuma Tag because it's the best. Um, I'm featuring the Ife Rua D because it's an interesting gun that I want to delve more deeply into. I gotta get rid of this drag, man. This drag, man. If I had Icarus on this, it'd be ridiculous. We've been talking about Icarus recently. I've heard a lot of streamers and YouTubers talking about Icarus, and it seems to be a perk that is better than you think, especially on a hand cannon. So, uh, but the Ife Rua D, the Tamar D, those are interesting snipers. They're not gonna do you any good, really, anywhere other than just having fun. They're not workhorses. Uh, unless you just like it. I don't know. So what do you guys think? Which ones are you going for this week? I definitely recommend the Kuma Talk first, the Garrus D second, third. Pick up pick up that Uzum, man. You might have a lot of fun with that. That's an easy to run and gun sniper with unflinching and performance bonus. Yeah, yeah. Grab that. Try it out. And then grab one of the two Haka snipers. They're, they're about the same. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know which ones you're interested in. Which ones you're going to use, which ones you're picking up, and what do you think is going to happen when Rise of Iron comes out to Arms Day? Any changes? I don't know. We'll see. So, I am Death from Above. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like if you've enjoyed this. Subscribe if you want to see more. And until next time, I will see you later. See you bye.